All right, welcome to everybody's favorite YouTube cooking show, Filthy Cook, Filthy Kitchen Cooking with the Squadron. Yours truly right here. Today, we are going to make some eggs again. I got some butter melting in the pan. Pan is on four. I might bring it up to five. It's on four right now. As you can see, I've got four egg emojis sitting around oh my look at this one oh no oh this guy's not happy she's in the spotlight oh this one is a smoker Ugh, disgusting foul habit and look here's another one oh isn't he sweet now <clears throat> we're gonna make whoops we're gonna make four, four eggs in this once the butter melts. So I've got good old bowl, non-toxic, very important. I'm gonna use a fork and my egg mojis. Now remember, if you wanna get in on the egg moji craze, it's just, uh, Contact me, send me some money. We can figure out how to market these. I think they're gonna sweep the nation personally. If not, planet Earth. So, I'm gonna cook these eggs. And when they're done, I'm gonna put me some cheese. Oh, a little bit of shell got in there. No problem. One. Two. Three. not too happy this fella is not too happy get you on in there boy get you in there oh big old piece of shell went in that's his revenge Vengeance will be mine. Alrighty. I'm gonna rinse off my hand. And back to business. Okay, the butter is ready, but the eggs aren't. So I'm gonna stir them up. Stir it up. Bit of reggae there. Perfect. And I'll drop these bad boys in the pan, just like so. Today, I fed the birds, took a stroll around the pond again, it's very warm today, but that's all right. Took a nice handful of cheese, I'm going to use the hand that I didn't crack the eggs with, although Probably not exactly clean. Take a nice handful of cheese and throw that in there like so. Call it an omelet if you wish. Just 
just a very basic thing. I will soon have to grate some more cheese. I'm running low. seems to be working all right. In the background you might hear the clothes dryer going. Got the laundry all done. Got the dishes all washed. Now it's just a matter of doing some cooking. I have these pork chops out. We're going to be cooking these a little later. I'm just waiting for them to warm up a little. They were on sale. So basically that's how I eat. Whatever's on sale pretty much is what I buy and eat. Not a big fan, excuse me, of pork chops, but when, when uh, make hay while the sun is shining, so to speak. Pork chops are cheaper. That's it. Got me a spatula here more of a rounded tip. It's kind of almost flat, but for this kind of work, that's a good spatula to have. Now, these could probably use a little bit of pepper. Running a little low on pepper. I'll put some pepper in the eggs. I'm not going to put salt in the eggs because the cheese is kind of salty enough for my liking. Now if I had a little meat I could chop it up and throw it in. The only meat, I would say meat, I have is a bit of bologna, but I had a bologna sandwich for breakfast so I won't put any bologna in there. But if I had some leftover meat, I could certainly chop that up and put it on in. Which reminds me, tomorrow I imagine I will probably have some leftover pork chops, which I'll probably chop up and make some fried rice with. Leftover pork, not very good, but not too bad in a fried rice. Now I could probably use a bit more heat for these eggs. This pan is a little bit too small for four eggs, but I want four eggs, not three, so that's why I'm going with that. So for the rest of the day, I'm hoping to do a boxing workout. And uh, I have an appointment a little later and then Hopefully I can get to bed at a reasonable hour, get to sleep, get up, I'll reheat the pork chops, and be off to work. Anyway, I don't really have much to say at the moment, so I'll probably cut this video short, and we can discuss more later. Hopefully I'll put up another fable. I haven't uh, had a chance to really look at too many fables lately, but we're running low. But I think I'm going to revisit some of my earlier fables that I didn't really give any commentary on. Anyway, till next time, who loves your baby? If you have any comments, any questions down below, please. And until next time, bye.